Hey friends, welcome to Origins Ishala. In this video, I am gonna walk you through the tutorial to design the most practical and realistic poke ball toy that can be feasibly manufactured. We will also be creating an animation video of the same in exploded view. But mind well, the dimensions of this design are owned by me, my young G, Jane. Hence, this design can't be manufactured directly without my consent. First, we will create a new part file in SOLIDWORKS. Remember to set the unit system to be MMGS. Create a new sketch on front plane. We will start by the outermost size of Pokeball. Since, it is the size of an orange and fits well in hands, from Pokemon fandom data the outermost diameter is known to be 75mm. So, we will create a circle at origin with the said diameter and then offset the circle by 2.5mm in reverse direction. Select the new offset circle and again create an offset entity of 2mm in reverse direction. Now draw two diameters to outermost circle, one horizontal and other vertical. Create an offset entity of horizontal diameter by 1.5mm with bidirectional option. Create two centerlines from the origin to outermost circle, one at 30 degree angle to horizontal and other at 30 degrees to this centerline. Create another offset circle from middle circle at 1.5 mm in reverse direction. Once again, Create a bidirectional offset entity to both center lines at 0.125 mm. Now, create this geometry around both the center lines. After this, exit the sketch and rename the sketch 1 to front profile main. This is going to be our main sketch on whose basis other entities will be driven. Now we are going to create a new sketch on front plane and convert these entities that I am selecting. Choose revolve boss slash base command, select the central axis, check for thin feature to be disabled, select this contour and click OK. We have created the bottom half of the poke ball which generally lies a bit below the horizontal diameter. By now, many of you would be wondering as to why I didn't use the previous sketch directly for revolve feature. The reason is, once you use a sketch for feature, it is absorbed within the feature itself and needs to be accessed from the drop down of that feature which can be cumbersome. So, we will be converting the entities to be used for feature and only using them to make things a lot easier. Create a new sketch on front plane. Select these lines and circle from main profile and select Convert Entities. For better visualization we will hide the front profile main. Convert these middle lines to construction geometry and trim the portion of these lines beyond the vertical axis. Select Revolved Cut Feature, select the vertical diameter as axis of rotation, disable thin feature and select the same contours as me. 
As you can see, they have created a continuous cut across the inner surface of Pokeball. For the next step, we will be selecting top plane for making a sketch. We will select the outer edge and convert entities. Then draw a vertical and a horizontal line for diameter. Afterwards, select both the lines and create bidirectional offset of 0.125 mm. We will also make a circle of 15 mm diameter with origin as center. Just add another offset circle from outer edge at 5 mm in reverse direction. Exit the sketch and rename this as Top Profile Main. Select the top plane again and create a new sketch. Select the outer circle with previously offset bidirectional lines and click on Convert Entities. Click on Front Profile Main and click Show. Create a new sketch on Front Plane. Select the outermost two circles with vertical line and click Convert Entities. Go to Surface tab, select Surface Revolve, select Vertical Line as Axis of Rotation, clear the selected contours and only select the second outermost circle then press OK. Similarly, we will create a revolved surface using previous sketch from the outermost circle as well. Now hide both of these surface bodies for time being. Select the previous sketch we created on top plane and click on Extruded Cut. Set Direction 1 to Offset from Surface and select the Inner Surface Revolve. Enter 1.5 mm for offset distance and select these contours between the lines. Don't forget to select the square region at intersection and click OK. Now hide the revolved surface and you will see that a uniform cut separating inner surface in four section is made. Make the surface visible again. Select the top plane, create a new sketch then select the small circle from the visible sketch and click on Convert Entities. Exit the sketch and select Cut Extrude. Enter D1 as 1.75 mm. Select the surface revolve for reference surface and select the circle as contour then press OK. Now you can hide the surface revolve and top profile main sketch. Select the front plane, click on section view and press OK. Select front plane and create a new sketch. Select these profiles and click convert entities. Go the Features tab, select Revolved Boss slash Base option. Select this 30 degree line as Axis of Revolution, untick Thin Feature option, choose this region as the selected contour, click on OK. Now we will repeat these same steps for the profile around next 30 degree line. Now exit the section view and you can see two pin-like structures that we created at the intersection of evenly cut lines. You can hide the front profile main as well. Select the front plane and right plane, then click on reference geometry, choose plane and click OK. Select the created plane, click on section view and press OK. Now we will be creating a sketch in this new plane.
We will start by creating a circle with origin as the center and 67.25 diameter. Draw two inclined lines from center to the circumference of this circle. Add angular dimension to these lines. Set the upper line at 31.25 degree from horizon and 27 degree between the two lines. Select Offset Entities option and select the circle. Set the offset in reverse direction for 2 mm and click OK. Create a vertical center line from the origin to circumference of circle in downward direction and exit the sketch. Rename this sketch as the diagonal main profile. Click on the edit icon, add an offset to the outermost circle at 0.75 mm in reverse direction, click OK and exit the sketch. Select plane 1, click on sketch, select every element except for the center line and middle offset circle and click on convert entities. Go to features tab, click on revolved cut, select the vertical center line as axis, set direction 1 to mid plane and enter 86 degree as angular dimension, then choose the region between the angular lines and two circles as selected the contour and press OK. Exit from the section view, select the two revolved pins along with this revolved cut and select circular pattern. Choose the outer edge of pokeball bottom as direction, check these parameters and click OK. And that's it for this session. Next time, we will be making the joining element of the pokeball which is not present in show but will be required in real life for practicality and manufacturing purpose. Otherwise, we won't be able to join it along with top and open or close it later on. We will also be making this circular section for position of button on the bottom part. Till then keep learning and be the best. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view Go feathers and see this too